Hey guys, so we were on the draw with a very fast hand, um, and so obviously we would never mulligan this ever. Now obviously if he kills our phalanx leader, then, you know, none of that matters, or bounces it. But, yeah, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna try to work something out here, make maybe, a, you know, attack for four on, on turn three or whatever. Alright. Could just shoot that. May not be the worst thing in the world, but I actually think we play this. Let him attack if he wants. Yeah, I believe letting him attack if he wants is, is the best plan. Um, we're still going to be able to race him and get him for four. This could be a bounce spell. A crackling trident, all right. So we can try to get some value here. Like, we can... Here, I'll undo this. We can, like, play sun guide and shoot this or play snare caster and shoot this or we can just go like straight up fearsome temper try to get in i think getting a little bit more value uh because he does have quick creatures and he's green so he's probably gonna be able to outclass us so getting some value um from our phalanx leader is probably the best play yeah that's that's what i would say and so i think i'm just gonna spark jolt this now because i don't want inspire to trigger um I don't really want Band Elder right now. We have all the creatures we need. Next turn, we will, if he plays something, you know, not too huge, we'll be able to snare capture and fall of the hammer. That could possibly be very good. attack that's fine no way i'm trading either of my creatures for that especially if he has not shown me red yet and awaiting griptide all right so um i think we just keep both options open tap down and get in sure I think that's just the plan. If he like has the flash chimera or whatever, we can blow him out with fall of the hammer. Breaching hippocamp. All right. Well, I did not see that coming. Um, <clears throat> now we can actually just, like, kill our phalanx leader with this crackling triton. So that was actually not as fantastic as we had hoped, but we still have fearsome temper, so I suppose that's good. Yeah, I mean, sadly we just traded our phalanx leader and something else for his, well, yeah, I don't know, I'm not, obviously not very happy with that trade. Although I am happy with that Wingsteed Rider. Do we just slam it? Or is it more important to play Fearsome Temper here? I think it's actually important to play Fearsome Temper and get in. Because that makes him have to respond to to us. Yeah. He like he can't just block. And he can always block this with the Wingsteed Rider. Um, even though this would also become a 5-5. Five five. Like, I just think getting in is, is the best plan. Staunch hearted. Let's draw another spell, hopefully. A oh, planes. It's actually perfect. So we're going to make it so that can't block. And that can't block. And we're just going to get in for five. All right. 
Well, it seems to be working so far. Um, we obviously wouldn't mind another spell at some point. Oracle's Insight. Interesting. Obviously not another creature. That should be good enough? I don't know. So, like, if he straight up, like, just taps it here, that makes our job a lot easier. Like, I don't know if he wants to draw the card now or later. Actually, it just makes our job easier anyways. Um, please, something we can blow him out with. Um, is that, well, that is something we can blow him out with. Yes, because we can... We can attack for seven, and he has to block and waste something. It's probably the Crackling Triton. And then we can Wingsteed Rider and apply all the pressure our life has ever wanted to apply. Yeah, all right. It's probably better. Although, getting just straight up getting in does seem good. I don't know. That, that could have been totally wrong. We may just want him to put him to two there and give him two draw steps to, two draw steps to draw a creature. That may be a lot better. I I have actual no idea. Although now, um, if one of those two wasn't a creature, we do win the game. So I, you know, they're both they're both decent plays, I presume. So surprisingly enough, even though this draw was very aggressive, it was not the most aggressive draw we could have possibly had. Um, which is pretty crazy, like that we can have such aggressive draws. I am really liking Fearsome Temper in this matchup, though, especially if he doesn't have a lot of removal, which it does not seem as though he does. Oh, land. All right. I hope that's what he drew. <laughs> well, maybe not. I don't know. Then he is dead. All right. Well, he was dead to mountain anyways. Uh, yeah. Now, but he wasn't. All right, so we're gonna be on the draw again. Um, I like Ray a little better than I did originally. Is there anything else? I like this fearsome temper better than I did originally. Ray could actually be pretty good here. Um, this is pretty good for us. Rise of the challenge is also gonna be very good because it's gonna be like interactive. You know what? I don't want to have to attack every turn, so I'm probably going to cut Death Bell Raiders for this. Alright guys, see Alright guys, so we are on the draw with a not great opener, so we are going to mulligan this. And this is much better. Um, I mean, attacking for 4 on turn 3 is always nice, so I have no issues with that. Uh, although I would like a Heroic Enabler at some point. Yeah, that would be nice. I guess we have Spear Point later in the game to make a 4-4 four, four flyer with First Strike. Although, yeah, so I I think we just go for it here. Ooh, now we have God's Willing too. Yeah, this is going to be... He's going to have to do something quickly or else this is going to get out of hand. Alright. Staunch Hearted Warrior. I've never cared about that ever, and I continue to not care about it. Alright, that's sweet. So we get to Ban Elder, still keeping God's Willing up. So there is a play where if he taps out, we could actually God's Willing end of turn in order to pump our Sky Guard. Yeah, or... Or that happens. We would like to... In green, and I would like to not draw that planes, please. Please. 
the old bronze sable. All right. Should lose destroy target artifact. That would be much better. But oh well. What's better than one sky guard? Two sky guards. So do we just attack with everything here? Let him eat something? And yeah, I think that's actually it. I think we're just on the attack with everything, every turn plan, and just putting him in as much pressure as possible. That's fine, even though we're in the air. Yeah, I don't know. What do you really want to do here? I'm still proposing blowing him out with a trick, but I did not. I was nice. Chose to not blow him out there. Um, so now he just has to try to race us, I think. Like, we've taken away his blocking plan, and hopefully we can draw the second Skull Cleaver and just get him. So if this is a monstrous flyer, I'm actually afraid. Alright, so now we're on a two-turn clock, which is actually a big deal. Um, so the only way is we get out of that clock, or if he kills us next turn somehow with, like, a two... It would take a two mana pump spell, like a two two power pump spell, in order for him to just kill us. Um one, two, three, four, five, six. We can only do six next turn. So I actually just think we're dead now. We were looking so good too. And then he just killed us. see so one two three four five six we're just actual dead all right well i did not see that coming yeah i mean i guess that happens so how do we deal with giant things i don't think we do i think we just try to glimpse them especially on the play here yeah i think on the play we should be fine all right, well, that was a pretty great game, too. I will see you guys. All right, guys, we'd, of course, like to play first, and this hand is fine with me. Um, it has two drop into three drop, which is perfect. Looks like he has an interesting six. He's deciding whether to keep or mull here. Not generally one to root for our opponents to mulligan five, although it does help our chances at winning. So, there is that. So he went to five and is now ready to play. We're going to start off with the planes. So, this is the situation in which being an aggressive deck is just so good. Um, because when your opponent mulls, you kind of need to rethink your strategy sometimes on like how to best punish them. But when you're already an aggressive deck and you're just punishing anyways, like, that is so helpful. So next turn, if we draw land, um, we're probably actually playing the Skirmisher. Although this also does three damage. Hmm. Yeah, we probably just want to get the other body out there and just keep pounding away. Although if we don't draw that land, then we're going to play Chosen, attack for two, and hopefully draw a land. Cohen Skyguard. What is this? A think twice? Just kidding. Um, Void is ending my Skyguard, maybe? I'm just trying to think of things that could possibly be. Um, so now we have to do this. Even though we could get blown out. He has to have it, right? I mean, if we get blown out, this sucks, but he has to have it. Ooh, he had Nullify. That's interesting. I don't know if we attack for two, that's fine. So now he's not keeping Nullify up, so he has a two drop. Ah, gotcha. Alright, I understand now. Well, sorry for you. We're going to make ourselves a 3-3 flyer. 
and just to keep on bashing. Um, so this does come become a little tricky if we don't draw the land because we really want to be able to punish him. And although we are punishing him currently, I'd like to punish him a bit more. And there it is. So now we're just going to make ourselves a giant flyer and kill him in one turn. Yeah, because this does three damage. So if he any kind of taps out here, we just kill him. I guess he could have that like labyrinth card, whatever in a labyrinth. Um, but I mean, I think he's just dead here. He should be dead. All right. Well, that was a, a very quick and unexciting game three after our, our opponent mauled and we had a super fast start. So once again, this is Sam from The Grid Games and I will see you for round two.